Not just holiday shopping bills you'll be seeing in the mail this month. Property owners across the state are already finding out how much they will have to pay in property taxes this year, and the numbers might surprise you. Braden Ross joins us to explain. Braden? Yeah, property tax rates are going up across Wisconsin, with this year seeing one of the most significant increases since the 2008 recession. But that doesn't necessarily mean your bill is going up. We are... I think confident in saying that's going to be the largest increase since the Great Recession. A new report by the Wisconsin Policy Forum estimates gross property taxes across Wisconsin this year will rise by almost 5%. We're mainly talking about school districts, your municipality, so your city, village, or town that you would reside in or that the property is located in, and then counties. School districts across the state are projected to take in almost $300 million more million than they did last year. And the statewide number for all uh, school district property taxes was about 5.4 percent compared to an 8 percent increase for the Madison School District. Dane County is also seeing one of the largest increases of any county levy in the state at a 13.8 percent increase. That's quite significant. So why the rise? Well, for one, inflation. For school districts, their single biggest expenditure by far is teacher and staff salaries and benefits. And um, it has become a challenge for a lot of school districts to retain uh, their teachers and their staff because of, uh, you know, what, what inflation is doing. This year's state budget also raised the limit on how much school districts are allowed to take in. But there is good news for your wallet. These state tax credits are effectively going to reduce or buy down that increase. Not just that, but the state's record $7 billion budget surplus could also play into future relief. We do think that this warrants at least perhaps some discussion by state leaders and state policymakers about what role the, the surplus might play in potential property tax relief. Now, this latest increase comes even as local governments saw funding boost from the state government in this year's budget. Right now, Wisconsin expects to end the current budget system in 2025 with around $4 billion in the general fund and another almost $2 billion in its rainy day fund.